OK, so today's uh, job is to check the quartering of the uh, six driving wheels. So what, what is quartering? So if we, if we look at the, drive, um, the driving pins on each wheel, you can, you can see that they're not in line. Um, they are actually about 90 degrees apart. So that, that, that means is that when uh, we've got two cylinders, so when, say, the left-hand cylinder is completely forward, like this, the right-hand cylinder is at half stroke. So that you've always got power. So obviously the left-hand cylinder is right at the end of the stroke. It's got it's run out of power, whereas this is mid stroke, so that's that's pretty much at full power. So that that power will it will keep the wheels turning until this gets to the end of its stroke, and then then you'll find that the other side is again at mid stroke. So um, so that's that's basically what quartering is: is that you basically want about ninety degrees difference between. The left and the right hand side. Now the actual angle doesn't matter. What does matter is, is that for all, each of the six wheels or the, the three axle pairs that we've got the, the angle needs to be exactly the same and what you'll notice at the moment is is that despite the fact that they're, they're pinned there's actually quite a lot of slack in, in this particular axle I hold one side you can see that it's moving quite a lot can you see that and I've, I've looked at the other two pairs that one's has got some movement but not a lot and this one is completely solid so what that means is is I'll take the one that's completely solid and take a measurement from that and then I'll make sure that the other two match it. And so the way I've been shown actually is to use um, my metalworking lathe. So Roger James, who's a really skilled model engineer at my local club, um, he showed me a method. Um, so the method I'm using for quartering um, requires all of the um, pins to be the same size so um, it would appear on this design that they're all different so what I've done is, is I've, I've as accurately as I can um, machined up um, some 16 mil some bar down to 16 mil which is pretty much what this is um, and so I've got got and then I've um, bored these out to uh, just just under 12 mil Got a reasonably good fit there, I've had. What I've now done is I've made adapters for the 11 mil, the 12 mil, um, which with an outer diameter that matches um, the, the uh, this this axle here. So effectively they're all the same. And I've also got a centre that is also the same diameter as, as this as well. And um, really kindly, actually, somebody has donated a um, axle pump for me so I don't have to make an axle pump. I don't think I can use this section so the eccentric and the strap but perhaps that'll come in handy for something else. But the stroke is perfect. Um, it's perhaps a little bit narrow diameter but um, beggars can't be choosers so I, I'm really pleased with that. So thank you very much to Lend for that. We will. Um, we need to make an adapter an adapter there so that will fit in in the chassis but that should be quite easy to make just a, a plate with a 
four screw holes in it and uh, a hole for the uh, the actual pump so that's uh, that's really really nice so thanks again to, to len for that i really appreciate it um, just a little hint there <laughs> um we've got everything set up on the myford now so um if, if we come at, look at this end first so what you can see is we've got a um homemade center the diameter here 16 mil and the diameter of this this piece here is also 16 mil so we've got a square pushed up against both of them so that means that this the center of there and the center of this pin are vertical vertical and I've, I've just very carefully clamped that square so that that won't move as, as we uh, change wheel sets. So if we now come round to the other side um, what you can see is we've got a nice stack of um, parallels on the lathe cross slide um, which is the, the, the face they sit on is machined and brown so that's reasonably flat. Um, so I've got three three parallels and then I've what I've done is I've selected some Joe blocks so that 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 these just slide in so that's our hopefully 90 degree angle so this is this is the first set and there's no play in this axles if you like this is my pattern and then what I'll do is I'll then use this to set the quartering of the other two axle sets um, so if you don't know what Joe blocks are um, uh, they're named after the um, maker who was a um, or the guy that came up with the idea who was a I think a Swedish guy called uh, Johannes something um, and he came up with this idea where you have uh, precision ground blocks of certain sizes and, and the, the actual sizes are uh, specially selected so that you can make up um, basically any size from you know sort of point not not one of an inch uh, all the way up to um, probably about 10 inches or something with this and um, to sort of uh, four decimal places basically so that gives you quite a lot of accuracy so um, hopefully that explains how, how this setup works um, The next next stage is to, is to get the um, one, one of the uh, loose uh, axle sets, put it in this jig, um, check check that the slip blocks will fit in okay, and if it's all looking uh, reasonable, what we'll do is um, put some uh, Loctite on on the axle and very quickly uh, put it into this setup and uh, make sure that the wheel's in the correct position. Uh, okay, so on this wheel set, um, both wheels are loose on the axle. So what I've done is I've taken a um, hammer and a punch, and I've just tapped that most of the way through. Um, I'm gonna add some retaining compound, push it back in, and then put it on the jig in, in the lathe. Make sure the quarter is correct for that side. And then leave it leave it a few minutes for the um, Loctite to set. Okay, so I'm um, I'm hol holding this wheel, which is as you can see it is loose, up against the um, square. Uh, I've Loctited this side, and I'm making sure that it's nice and tight on the J blocks. So um, quite a bit the Loctite has oozed out, so I'm just going to give that a quick wipe. I think that's um, that does there doesn't seem to be any movement between the axle now and this wheel, so that that is starting to set. You don't get a huge amount of time. Um, but that's nice and tight now. 
So again, I'm going to leave that for uh, five minutes and then I'll do the final axle and uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, so that's um, the quartering done on all the axles. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, leave any comments if you do it a different way. It's always interesting to hear from people. I always respond to comments. So um, yeah, look forward to hearing from you. See you in the next one.